What's up everyone? It's your girl Chanel, excuse the ash. <laughs> it's your girl Chanel from Complex Simplicity and welcome back to another segment of Candid Talk with Chanel. That's right, Candid Talk with your girl. <laughs> so it's funny, over the weekend I, on my Instagram, I follow Malika Hack, I follow of course Khloe Kardashian, I follow April Jones who's Omarion's children's mother and quite a few people from that crew. And um, I also do follow Tamar Braxton and I found it very interesting to see that she has been attending a lot more events um, with that crew. I believe it was Malika and her twin sister Khadijah's birthday the other day or recently or they celebrated recently in Vegas and Tamar was among their normal crew. And um, it kind of got me to thinking because, you know, no shade to Tamar Braxton, but she is kind of closer in age, um, well, she's not close in age to them, um, the point I'm trying to make. She's like pushing 40, she's 39, and these young ladies are early 30s to 33-ish, 34-ish, and um, I just find it interesting when it comes to Miss Tamar Braxton um, that her group of friends often seem to change. You know, for a while it was, you know, the tiny, um, Kato Harris, T.I.'s wife, of course, you know, Candy Burris, um, Shekinah. It was like that kind of whole ATL crew thing going on. You know, of course, she has her sisters, and we know the relationships within the sisterhood is often challenged when it comes to Tamar. And, um, you know, for me, it's just like, why does she seem to change crews? When she was on the, the daytime talk show, The Real, which I love, you know, she was calling, you know, Tamara Housley, Lonnie Love, you know, Adrian now Houghton, and, you know, Jeannie Mai, her friends, right? And so my thinking is, why does her group of friends change? When she was no longer on the, the reel, then you no longer see her either following the members or the hosts of the reel. You don't see her hanging out with them. You know, you really don't see her hanging out with the ATL crew that I just mentioned either. She's now with these, you know, the whole LA, you know, crew. Um, and I'm like, mm, for some reason, this crew doesn't seem to make sense to me, you know? But then again, I don't know these people, so who knows? I, find, I found it just a little odd, to be honest with you, though, that she's now hanging out with, you know, Khloe Kardashian's peoples, you know? Um, and so this brought me to thinking of this major question, which is, what are your thoughts? Like, when it comes to changing crews, do you feel that it's important to go through life with a consistent group of friends? Not saying that you can't add here and there, or that we can't connect with other people along the way. But I think that there's something to be said when we're changing crews often. Every couple of years, we're not with this group. We're now hanging out with this group. And then after three years, we're now hanging out with this group. And then we're floating over here to this group. You know, is it because we have a difficult time with connecting and really establishing true blue friendships? Or is it that our behaviors kind of get us kicked out of the crews? Like, I don't know. I'll be honest. When I think of Tamar Braxton, sometimes I wonder if it's her behavior that kind of um, is the catalyst as to why certain friendships don't last. I'm not going to blame it all on her because it takes two people, as I always say, for a conflict to happen or for a relationship or friendship to fail or end, you know? Um, but I don't know. Just scrolling on my Instagram, it had me to thinking. It'd be the very simple things out here that'll... Um, evoke thought-provoking moments or questions, you know, for me. And so that's my question to you. Do you feel that it is the norm and it's okay to just hop from group of friends to this group of friends to this group of friends to this group of friends? It's not where you're collecting as you go. It's like, I'm no longer hanging or dealing with this crew. Now I'm over here with them. And then after two years, I'm no, I'm no longer messing with them. I'm over here with them. You know, do you feel like that's the normal thing? That's a healthy thing? Or do you feel more so that it's important to rock with the same consistent group of people throughout your lifetime. Like I said, again, not saying you can't add here and there, you know, but your core group being a consistent group. I respect, you know, Beyonce, Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, um, Beyonce's cousin Angie, La La. Like I respect people who seem to have had consistent friends throughout 
um, their lifetime. And Lala Anthony is actually a great example of that. You know, Lala has her core group of friends. She, you know, Kelly Rowland, Ciara, Serena Williams, you know, um, Poe, Dice, and other people that she consistently rocks with. She's not really crew hopping like that. Kim Kardashian's a part of her crew. She's not really crew hopping like that. She rocks with the same people throughout life. Um, my opinion is I prefer to kind of have the same group throughout my lifetime. I do recognize that some friends may not always fit the bill for where you're meant to be in life and some friendships may kind of come to a, an end in some way. But I, I would like to say that, you know, my overall core though should be a consistent group. I'm personally not with hanging out with this group over here for a couple of years and then we have a falling out and I jump over here because I think you're cool and you could do something for me or maybe you can make my image a little bit more of this and then something goes south with us and I'm jumping over here. Like, I'm not about that life. I'm all about consistency and having a loyal few people in your corner. Anyway, let me know, comment under this vlog and um, continue to head to complexsimplicity.com. Until next time.